Hey guys, what's up? As you all might have experienced at some point that the Galaxy S21 and S21 Plus generally deliver great image quality despite using the same camera hardware as that of their Galaxy S20 predecessors. However, this will not repeat for the S22 generation as Samsung will change its pattern for the next year's models. This piece of info comes from Tipstar Frontron who alleges with a caveat that the Galaxy S22 and S22 Plus will offer a 50 megapixel main camera, a 12 megapixel ultra wide shooter and a 12 megapixel 3x telephoto sensor. Now if you're wondering how the word Samsung Rainbow is relatable to the S22 series, then let me take you to a previous tweet by a same tip star where he revealed that the Galaxy S22 series was called Rainbow and the models are referred using names of various colors. For instance, red is used for the standard S22 while green used for S22 Plus and blue for the Ultra version. And deriving from that, we can surely infer that the mention of Rainbow and R slash G is indeed the S22 and S22 Plus model. That said, the question is, whether a 50 megapixel camera is the right move. As it is easy to assume that extra resolution means a better camera, but that's not always the case. However, for Samsung, the switch to 50 megapixel primary camera might be a step forward for these Galaxy flagships. I'm saying this because Samsung's latest 50 megapixel sensor, the Isocell Gen2, does offer a smaller pixel than the 12 megapixel main camera used on the current base and plus models. And not just that, but the Gen2 is also capable of outputting pixel binded shots compared to a 12.5 megapixel 2.8 micron camera used in the present models. And alongside, a 50 megapixel sensor will of course allow for 8K video recording, which should deliver better low light video, at least in theory, compared to the S21 and S21 Plus, given that the Gen2 has larger pixels, which means more light and the opportunity for better overall quality. Now if this claim does pan out, it will mean that the Vanilla and Plus Galaxy S models will miss out on the Periscope cameras for yet another year and it will still be in the domain of the Ultra models. That said, there is no word on whether the apparent 12 megapixel 3x telephoto sensor listed by the leaker is a full blown camera or another hybrid version. However, I would hope that Samsung switches to proper telephoto cameras on the upcoming devices for improved image quality. Now we are at least sure that Samsung isn't just playing numbers game with its phones as it was claimed earlier that Samsung would be doing this with extreme numbers like 200 megapixel or 150 megapixel and we are quite thankful to the company for truly trying to improve its hardware. But still, don't forget to comment what you think Samsung should keep, whether it is the 12 megapixel main camera or switch to a 50 megapixel camera for the aforesaid models. And alongside, also don't forget to like this video and share it with your friends, while also consider subscribing my channel if you like my content. Thanks for watching it.